beer and a hundred bucks. Thanks. Best you call a night. I second that. I poured you into a taxi and sent you home. You think so little of your career, it's a joke. This job is about the only thing you've got going for you at the moment, and it's hanging by a thread. Wake up to yourself before you lose that too. Sorry, I had no idea. I want you to go. Why didn't you tell me your brother was autistic? Because I shouldn't have to parade him around to prove my point. The facts speak for themselves. But it makes sense why you're so passionate about immunization. Oh, so I'm passionate now. Not some one-eyed rabble rouser. Look, I didn't mean it like that. I didn't know. No, you don't. I'm sorry. Just go. You're not on the floor today. No, I'm only here to organise cover. Who for? Maxwell. What's wrong with him? A bit under the weather. Has he got the flu? No. Oh, it's a cold thing. Headache. A self-inflicted one, so I wouldn't waste my time with the pity. He's hung over. Did he have a bit of a bender last night? Looked like it. And not just the boozy type? No. Gambling again. Thought he got on top of that one. Then we all. Um, can you call Dr. Jackson to cover, please? You enjoying our rancho as a bachelor pad? Oh, all the hot water I could dream of. For how much longer, though? Uh, subtle. If you haven't heard it from the horse's mouth, ask the stable hand. What? You're obviously worried that Nicole hasn't rung you. Uh, no. Her grandma's just had a stroke. She's got more important things on her mind. Whatever helps you sleep at night. Well, she's on the mend. Who? Hey. Nicole's grandmother. Looks like she's making a steady recovery, so Nicole will be back tomorrow night. You've spoken to her then? Well, only briefly, and I'm sure she'll call you just as soon as she can catch her breath. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure she will. Libby? Well, come on, it's not a good sign, is it? She said she'd call you. No, I told her to call me if she needed to, and she hasn't. She called Gerald. Well, I'm, I'm sure that doesn't mean that Nicole's not interested in Maya. Do you know something? No, but I know that I wouldn't give up just yet if I were you. They say absence makes the heart grow fonder. They also say out of sight, out of mind. I've got a locum, Dr. Jackson, coming in to cover for Maxwell. Uh, when she arrives, can you see her through? Absolutely. Thanks. TK, have you got a second? Yeah. Um, I was just wondering how Daniel's been. Good, as far as I know why. He was here yesterday with that girl, Lauren. She was handing out anti-immunisation pamphlets. I tried to talk to them about it, but he just went off at me. Yeah, I think uh, Lauren's awoken his political conscience. <laughs> Is that what they're calling it these days? <laughs> she certainly seems to have got him fired up. Yeah, well, I spoke to him about it and uh, pointed him in the direction of some less biased material, so hopefully he makes up his own mind. Good. Is that enough, though? I mean, should we try and stop him hanging out with us so much? Or... That would just add fuel to the fire, you know that? It was seeing him so angry that got me concerned, given recent history. He doesn't need Lauren racking him up like that. Yeah, well, you know, Dan's grown up. He's uh, using his own brain a lot more these days. I guess so. It's just hard not seeing him much. I go into paranoid parental panic. You? Never. <laughs> him yelling at me is pretty much the only contact I have with him. Like when I talk to him about living with me. I'm too scared to even ask him to come and visit now. Well, he's had time to get used to the idea. I could bring it up with him again if you like. Would you do that? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm probably going to head down to see the final this weekend, so perfect time to ask him to stay. OK, thank you. Um, have a nice trip. All right, cheers. Da -da -da -da. No, you don't. Excuse me? TK's called in a locum, so you can go home. I've well, cancelled the locum. I'm here now. You're in no state to work. That you are even considering working through a hangover proves that you're not. Oh, you stink of alcohol, for goodness sake. It's none of your business. Just because it's not anymore doesn't mean I don't care. Look, I know why you drink, so go home, rest up and sleep it off. Look, last time I checked, the head of ED was a big Samoan doctor, not a scrawny whiteness. 
Well, I've taken my nurse's cap off, and I'm saying this as your friend, one who's watched you battle your gambling gremlins and doesn't want to do it again. So please, go home. We'll be fine here for the rest of today. Dr. Jackson. Yes. Good to have you with us. I can run you through the system. Yeah, steady on. I only said I might not be able to make it. What's wrong with this colleague? Why does it have to be you that stands in for him? Have you gone off the clinic idea? Well, of course not, Auntie. But we'll still talk about the clinic. It just might have to be over the phone, that's all. But I've got the whole gang together. They'll be very disappointed if you're a no-show. Look, I'll do my very best to be there, all right? I'll let you know, all right? You just tell your boss he's going to have to do without you. Your whānau needs you. Yes, Auntie. OK, bye. I'll call you. Nothing like being guilted into a family weekend, huh? No, no, I, I would like to go. It's just, uh, might be needed here at work. Is someone sick? Uh, just a couple of holes in the roster. What's the clinic that you mentioned? Uh, we're setting up a uh, medical clinic down at the Mud Eye. Uh, my auntie Queenie wants me to chase up some paperwork for the setup. But with how things have been lately, I just haven't had a chance. Sarah, does your family know you've broken up? Yeah. Oh, you're close. Of course you are. Hey, um, I've got a stack of files I need to get through before I head home. All right, well, I'll add this to the pile and leave you to it. I'll see you later. Now, she may be a little unsettled. If she is, just give her some paracetamol and lots and lots and lots of cuddles. Oh, will do. Thanks. <laughs> and thanks for all the information. Oh, you're welcome. Now, we will send you a letter when Zoe's next immunisation is due. See ya. Successfully brainwashed another unsuspecting member of the public. Annabelle did her own research and made an informed decision, something you should consider if you want to argue to toss a little bit more. What's that supposed to mean? That I think you should voice your own opinion and not Lauren's. It is my own opinion. And Lauren knows what she's talking about. Her brother is autistic. And she blames the vaccinations? Yes. Look, I understand that she would like to have something to blame for her brother's condition, but there are so many different triggers for autism. Immunisation and the onset of autism occur around about the same time. It is coincidental, not causal. Lauren doesn't think so. Well, I tend to believe the Ministry of Health over Lauren and her pamphlets. You are so patronising. She just wants to make sure that other families don't have to go through what hers has. She is scaremongering. There are dozens of studies on the link between vaccinations and autism, but it still cannot be proved. Or can it be disproved? No. There you go. Look, how about I print off some data so you can read it? No, I don't want to see your propaganda. And by the way, I don't want to stay with you this weekend either. Apart from the fact that it's pathetic that you had to get TK to ask for you, I'd rather not spend time with someone who justifies poisoning kids by quoting facts and figures. I've been thinking, and you're probably right. <laughs> I usually am. What about Nicole? It's not just that I haven't heard from her, it's how we left things. Which were how? Well, I really like her, but I have given her so many mixed messages and now I think I've left her too long and she's given up on me. Or, like you said, things are hard from a distance and she could be waiting to see what happens when she gets back in Ferndale. You don't really believe that though, do you? Oh God, what's the drama this time? Maya hasn't heard from Nicole and she's back tomorrow. Good thing or bad thing? Bad thing. Or it could be a good thing. Your slate is clean and you can show her that your heart is really in it. Surprise her with a big romantic gesture. Oh, don't do it. Hold on to what dignity you have left. Or you could ring her. That shows you can. Wait and see is probably safer. Anyway, I'd better get on. Good one. What? I just saved her from making a fool of herself. This is the best chance at a relationship Maya's had in I don't know how long. We need to encourage her. Why? Relationships only mess you up anyway. You are jaded beyond belief. Duh, I'm a Jeffries. <clears throat> oh, before you go, do you know where the development plans are for the PCC? Why not ask the HOD? That's if you and Sarah can now converse like grown-ups. <laughs> of course. We took on board what you had to say. Everything is fine. Glad to hear it. Could I pick your brains for a moment? What about? Setting up a medical clinic on a marae. And I would know all about that because I'm a Maori. <clears throat> because you're a medical professional and I want to get a broad understanding from as many people as possible. 
Try far no health. Brown medical professionals as far as the eye can see. I totally understand. Family comes first. That's good to hear your voice, though. I'm glad you called me. I'll be back tomorrow night. We can have a proper catch-up then, yeah? Oh, I'd love that. I'm looking forward to it. Me too. See you then. Nicole, I take it. Yes. <laughs> I called her and she wants to see me tomorrow. I told you it would all be OK. So I guess Tanya and Libby are going to have to find another place to go for the night. Yeah. But yes. Assuming you want the place to yourselves? Yes. It's just the pressure. I don't really want to hear details about your performance anxiety. No, that, the pressure to make it special. This is my chance to show Nicole I'm serious. I, takeaways in a DVD aren't really going to cut it. Oh, good Lord, no. You need romance. Yeah, that's what Bobby said. Luckily for you, you're talking to the master. Between us, we will create a homecoming for Nicole that will knock her socks off. Hey. How's Lauren? Are you two still fighting the good fight? Mm -hmm. You got me thinking, and I did some research. Did you know there was a survey done in the States, and of 9,000 boys, those that were vaccinated had a 155% greater chance of developing a neurological disorder, like autism? Oh, gee, bro, you know so much about what I'm into. We should be besties. I just thought... That you could get into my good books, and that I'd put in the good word for you with teacher. That's not what this is about. You are so transparent, it's embarrassing. I thought doctors were supposed to be smart. Hey, don't be rude. You can be nice to all you want. Are you still going to Auntie Queenie's this weekend? Yeah, yeah. Hey, did you talk to your mother about staying there? Yeah, I already told her I don't want to. No, no don't start. You're not going to change my mind. Well, you can come with me if you like. No, thanks. Sarah and Maxwell, Brooke, or you. What a choice. A lot of you guys make me sick. Thanks for sticking up for me. I mean, I'll be keeping out of his way as much as possible, but really, if he's that unhappy, maybe he should think about moving out. Hi. Hi. I got this for fun. You didn't have to do that. I was looking online and toys like this are supposed to help with development and stuff, so... Thanks. They are. Yeah, you're welcome. I shouldn't have gone off at you like I did. But do you understand now, right? Why I have to tell people vaccines are dangerous? Yeah, totally. So, your father's a doctor, right? Yeah. So what does he think of all this? Dad's about his government policy like he doesn't have a brain of his own. <laughs> well, and what about your mum? She was the one who first started looking into it. She was gutted. So she's on your side? The more research she did, the more she started blaming herself. I think that's why she put it aside, that and the divorce. Now Mum just kind of deals with it. She accepts that Philip's autistic and gets on with her life. I'm the only one now who pushes to find out why or what can be done about it. Yeah. Must be hard. Mum and Dad make Philip their main focus, so he's really lucky and he gets the best care. Want a coffee? Yeah, why not? I'm a genius. What am I? A genius, apparently. I called Farnell Health and managed to sweet talk them into giving us access to their development plans and proposals. Not only that, I sourced the same documents for the PCC and. And I've left them at work. Damn it. Um, you didn't have to do all this. The best thing is that we can model the Marai Clinic on Fano Health's plans, which will put us way ahead in the planning. Well, um, Queenie will be very impressed. Well, don't worry. When we get there, I'll let you take all the credit. We? Oui. I'm coming with you. Uh, no, you're not. B but I've done all this work. And I'm grateful for that, but um, I'm going to see my Fano. It's not appropriate for you to be there, so... Uh, well, thanks, though. Um, I'll give you credit where credit's due. Don't worry. Sure. Oh, we could put a lot of candles all the way up the driveway. This sounds suspiciously romantic. Are you going with my idea? I called Nicole and she wants to see me when she gets back. But I want to surprise her with something special. Well, I have the perfect thing. A sunset harbour cruise, cocktails, the wind in your hair and the open horizon. Oh, they're not geriatrics on the love boat. 
Nicole's kind of outdoorsy. What about mini golf? What about mini golf is even remotely romantic? Mm. Uh, she will have driven halfway up the island. I don't think she'll be into anything too adventurous. Hmm. Takeaways and a DVD it is then. No, a nice dinner maybe with wine and candles, a yummy dessert. I could run her a bath with rose petals. That could work, don't you think? Nice, a classic pamper evening. I thought you said you didn't know how to do any of this. <laughs> Must be like riding a bike. I still need your help though. Seems like you've got it all figured out. Well, I'll need someone to my JJ. It's a very good cause. And I'd love your suggestions on what to cook for dinner and the yummy dessert. Right, well, I'm sure between me, Nigella and Jamie, we'll find something. <laughs> Long black, thank you. Drinking alone with a frown on your face, dare I ask? It's one glass, and if I smiled all the time, I'd look like the village idiot. So. Work, home, love life, lack of. You can go now. Brooke, TK's marriage just broke up. Did you think you could jump straight in there? I don't need your opinion. This is just observation, but you two rubbed each other up the wrong way right from the start. Now, admittedly, that can lead to rubbing each other up the right way, but in this case, I suspect you are two very different people who are going to keep on clashing. You don't know a thing about us. I know you, Brooke. I remember you admitted to me that you used me, that you were only ever out for what you could get. You ended things between us because you wanted to change. You could only do that by being on your own. So have you changed? Well, obviously you don't think so. You really know how to turn a girl's head. What did I ever see in you? I loved you. I knew what you were like, but I loved you anyway. That's what you need. It's not impossible. But it's not going to happen with TK. Thank you. Thanks. How's it going? Good. And Daniel? A way to go, a very long way. But, um, what about this rumour I've been hearing? Oh, that wouldn't be about me turning up to work a bit worse for wear, would it? Yes, it was a big night out. You can probably guess where. The casino. A somewhat spectacular nosedive off the wagon. What happened? Too much time on my hands. Doesn't take much for me, unfortunately. Why don't you sit down for a minute? No, I'd better get back to my stuff. I mean, didn't know. I'm back on deck and fighting fit. Besides, we're not supposed to be doing this. No, we're not. Mm. Damn it. I'll catch up. Yep. I'm sorry I got angry. I know. You feel bad for Lauren, and so do I. It can't be easy for her to watch someone close to her struggle like that. <laughs> some of the stuff she says makes sense, but some of the stuff you say makes sense too. Not that I can tell Lauren that. No, it might be best not to, unless it is your own opinion. I'm not going to form an opinion on this one. <laughs> Smart. She's doing it on her own, though. How do you mean? Well, her parents don't believe that immunisation is the cause either. And they split up not too long after Philip got diagnosed, and I think they just focused on him and forgot about her. Well, parents never forget about their children. I know that you found this thing with me and TK really hard to handle, but I promise uh, you I have... It's not about me. It's about Lauren. Right. Well, I think that she's really lucky to have such a supportive friend. Well, I better get going. Okay. I'll see ya. Hi, I phoned through a takeaway order. I'll go check there. Thank you. Chris, how are you and Gabrielle coping with the handover? Very well, thanks. Good, well, let me buy you a drink and we'll toast the new regime. Oh, I'm just here for some takeaways. Oh, surely you can stop for one drink. Normally I'd say yes, but Gabrielle's waiting in the car. OK, another time. How's Rachel? She's fine. She's not fine. No, but considering the circumstances, it's a very good thing you're doing, um, having her to stay. Someone had to stand by her. It's an appalling situation. It is, but it's of her own doing. Chris, given your history, I thought you could afford her a bit more sympathy. It's not my sympathy she needs. 
from my experience with Rachel, she can get very needy. Kick a woman when she's down, why don't you? My concern is that she'll become dependent on you. She needs professional help. I hope she's getting it. Done. Done and done. I am an organisational demon. <laughs> and a good day, then. Sometimes, when you think that the light at the end of the tunnel is an oncoming train, it turns out to be sunlight. Bright, shiny sunlight. <laughs> well, I hate to burst your bubble, but I need you to cover a night shift tomorrow. Tomorrow? Deidre's mother is sick, so she has to go up to Kaitaia. I've kind of got plans tomorrow night. <laughs> I'm sorry for asking, but I've got no other option. The Bureau can't find someone at such short notice, and I'm already covering another shift myself. Thanks. I appreciate it. Sure, Ah, you Ah, you Oh, it's so good to see you. Hi, Maya Tama. Where's that gorgeous wife of yours? You know the school there, Auntie? Oh, well, maybe I was hoping you two would work things out. Go way beyond that. Momoki. I still don't get what happened. Not now, do I? That's what the father is going to want to talk about. Well, some people are just going to have to mind their own business. And this weekend's all about the clinic. It is. Mind you, I'm finding it hard not to pick up that phone. Sorry? Oh, give Sarah what for? She's not going to, are you? It's over between us. And I've accepted that, and I'm moving on, OK? Well, so you're not off your kite, then? No, I'm not. Bring it on. Wait till on. Hi. You must be Queenie. I I'm Brooke. 